Shanti. This is the Abhyakt Murli of 20th of November, 1985. And the title is The Lovely, Unique, and Elevated World of the Confluence-Aged Brahmins. Today, the Father, the Creator of Brahmins, is looking at his small, beautiful, and alokic world. This Brahmin world is extremely lovely and unique, even compared to the golden-aged world. The Brahmin souls of this alokic world are so elevated and special. This Brahmin form is even more special than the deity form. The praise of this world is its uniqueness. Every soul of this world is special. Each soul is a self-sovereign king. Every soul has the tilak of awareness, the imperishable tilak, the tilak of self-sovereignty, and is seated on God's heart throne. So, all souls have the crown, throne, and tilak of this beautiful world. Have you ever seen or heard of such a world throughout the whole cycle? It is a world in which every Brahmin soul has the same father, belongs to the same family, has the same language and knowledge. That is, you have the same elevated aim in life, the same attitude, vision, same religion, and the same godly actions. It is such a world that, to the extent that it is small, so it is just as lovely. In this way, all of you Brahmin souls sing this song in your mind. Our small world is unique and very lovely. Do you sing this song? Do you become happy seeing this confluence aged world? It is such a unique world. The daily timetable of this world is also unique. You have your own kingdom, your own disciplines, your own customs and systems, but they are beautiful systems and the love is also beautiful. You are the Brahmin souls who are living in such a world, are you not? You are living in this world, are you not? You never leave your world and go back to the old world, do you? This is why people of the old world are unable to understand. Who are these Brahmins after all? They say everything of the Brahma Kumaris is their own. They have their own knowledge. Since your world is new, then everything would be new and unique, would it not? Look at your own self. Do you have the new thoughts, new language, and the new actions of the new world? Have you become unique to this extent? There isn't anything of the old still remaining, is there? If there is even the slightest trace of the old things that will attract you towards the old world and from being in the elevated world, you will go to the world that is lower down. Because of being high, that is, elevated, they show heaven to be up above and hell to be down below. The confluence aged heaven is even higher than the golden aged heaven because you have now become knowledgeful of both worlds. Here, while seeing and knowing everything, you are detached and loving. This is why Madhuban is experienced to be heaven. You tell people, if you want to see heaven, see it now. There, you will not be speaking of heaven. Now, you say with that sparkle of intoxication, we have seen 
heaven. You challenge people. If you want to see heaven, come to us and see it. You speak of it like this, do you not? At first, you used to think and hear that the angels of heaven are very beautiful, but no one saw them. There is this and this is heaven. You have heard a lot of it, but now you yourselves have reached the world of heaven. You yourselves have become the angels of heaven. You have become beautiful from being ugly. You have now got wings, have you not? You have received such unique wings of knowledge and yoga through which you can tour around all three worlds. Even scientists don't have any means of such a fast speed. Have all of you received wings? No one is left out, is there? The praise of this world is that there is nothing lacking in the world of Brahmins. This is why there is the praise. Having found the One Father, we have found everything, not just of the One World. You have become the masters of all three worlds. The memorial of this world is that everyone continues to constantly swing in swings. To swing in swings is considered to be a sign of fortune. What is the specialty of this world? Sometimes you swing in the swing of super sensuous happiness. Sometimes you swing in the swing of peace. Sometimes, in the swing of knowledge, you swing in the swing of God's lap. To be in God's lap means to swing in the stage of being absorbed in love, just as you become totally merged in the lap. In the same way, you become merged in God's lap. You become lost in love. This alokic lap enables you to forget the pain and sorrow of many births in one second. In this way, continue to swing in all the swings. Did you ever think, even in your dreams, that you would have a right to such a world? Today, Bob Dada was seeing his lovely world. Do you like this world? You do love it, do you not? You don't sometimes place one foot in that world and one foot in this world, do you? You have seen and experienced this world for 63 births. What did you receive? Did you receive something or did you lose something? You lost your body. You lost peace and happiness of the mind and you also lost your wealth. You lost all relationships. Where did you lose the beautiful body that the Father gave you? If you accumulate wealth, that is black wealth. Where did the pure and clean wealth go? Even if you do have some, it is of no use. You call yourselves millionaires, but can you show it so? You lost everything, and if your intellect is pulled even then, then what would be said? Would that be being sensible? Therefore, always keep this elevated world of yours in your intellect. Constantly keep the specialties of this life, of this world, in your awareness, and become powerful. Become an embodiment of remembrance and you will automatically become a conqueror of attachment. Do not accept anything of the old world with your intellect. To accept means to be deceived. To be deceived means to take sorrow. So, where do you have to stay? In the elevated world or in the old world? Always keep the difference very clearly 
in an immersed way in your awareness as to what that is and what this is. Acha, to the special Brahmin souls who live in such a small and lovely world, to the souls who are constantly seated on the hard throne, to the souls who are constantly swinging in the swings, to the constantly detached children who are loving to God, God's remembrance, God's love, and Namaste. Bab Dada meeting teachers. Servers means renunciate and tapasvi souls. You always receive the fruit of service. However, you will always continue to move forward with renunciation and tapasya. Keep the aim that you have to serve and always give the proof of special service by considering yourself to be a special soul. The stronger your aim is, the stronger the building will be. So always continue to move forward, considering yourself to be a server. Just as the Father has selected you, you then have to select your subjects. Always become free from obstacles and continue to make service free from obstacles too. Everyone does service, but service should be free from obstacles. It is in this that you receive a number. Wherever you are living, every student should be free from obstacles. There should be no wave of obstacles. Let the atmosphere be powerful. This is called being a soul who is free from obstacles. Have the aim to have such an atmosphere of remembrance that no obstacles can come. When there is a fortress, enemies cannot come. So become free from obstacles and be a server who is free from obstacles. Youth wing for the youth rally. You may create the youth wing. Whatever you do, just be content. Let there be contentment and success. But otherwise, this life is for service. If you carry out a task with your zeal and enthusiasm, that is no problem. If there is a program and you feel that you have to do that, then that is different. But if you want to do something with your own zeal and enthusiasm, that is no problem. Wherever you go, whoever you meet, Whoever sees you, there is service in that. Just speaking alone is not service. Your face should be cheerful. A spiritual face also does service. Have the aim to do move forward with zeal and enthusiasm, with happiness and by showing the sparkle of spiritual happiness. No one should do service with force. It isn't that because a program is made, they have to do it. It is good if they do it with their own zeal and enthusiasm. It isn't that if someone doesn't have the enthusiasm to do this, they are tied to do it. In any case, you had the aim to cover all areas until the golden jiggle. And so just as those who go on a foot rally will come in their own groups. In the same way, there should also be those who come by bus while serving every zone and every area with the buses, they can reach Delhi. Make two types of groups. One of those who continue to come by buses and who come while serving on the way, and the other group that comes by foot. Then it would be double. 
You are the youth and you can do this. Can you not? They have to use their energy somewhere. It would be good if that energy is used for service. Then both the intentions would be fulfilled. Service would be fulfilled and you have called this the foot rally and that would also be fulfilled. If all the different states arrange their interviews in advance, then that sound would automatically spread. However, this should definitely be visible as a spiritual pilgrimage. It should not just be a foot rally. Let there also be the sparkle of spirituality and happiness. Then newness would be visible. It should not seem ordinary like the rallies that other people have, but it should seem that you are double pilgrims, not just single pilgrims. You are those who are on the pilgrimage of remembrance and also those who are on a foot rally. The impact of the double pilgrimage should be visible on your face then it would be good. Bob Dada, meeting different groups, do service and claim contentment. You don't just have to do service, but do such service in which there is contentment and you receive everyone's blessings. Service filled with blessings easily gives you success. You have to do service according to the plans and do a lot of it. Do it with happiness and enthusiasm, but definitely pay attention. Did I receive blessings in the service that I did? Or did I just work hard? Where there are blessings, you don't feel it to be hard work. So now keep the aim that whoever you come into contact with you also continue to receive blessings from that one. When you claim blessings from everyone, then your non-living images will continue to give blessings for half the cycle. They come to claim blessings from your images, do they not? They go to claim blessings from deities, do they not? So, you claim blessings from everyone at this time and this is why you also continue to give through your images. Have functions, rallies, serve VIPs and IPs. Do everything but do service that is filled with blessings. What is the method of claiming blessings? Let the lesson of Haji be firm. Do not say no to anyone and make them lose courage. For instance, even if someone is wrong, don't instantly say, you are wrong. First of all, give them assurance and courage. Say yes to that one and then explain to them and they will understand. If you instantly say no, then the little courage they would have will finish. Wrong can be wrong, but if you tell him he is wrong, he will never consider himself to be wrong. Therefore, first of all, say yes to him, increase his courage, and then he will be able to judge for himself. Give him regard, simply adopt this method. Even if he is wrong, first of all, say that he is good. Let him have courage first. If someone has fallen, will you push him down even more or would you uplift him? First of all, give him support and make him strong. This is called generosity. Continue to make cooperative those who are to become cooperative. You are ahead and 
I'm also ahead. Continue to move together. Move together in unity and there will be success and you will receive blessings of contentment. Become great in claiming such blessings and you will automatically become great in service. To the servers, while doing service, do you constantly experience yourselves to be stable in the karma yogi stage? Or is it that while performing actions, remembrance is reduced and your intellect is more engrossed in the karma? Because by performing actions, while staying in remembrance, there will never be tiredness in those actions. Those who perform actions while staying in remembrance experience constant happiness. You perform actions, that is, do service while being karma yogis. Do you not? Those who have the practice of being karma yogis always make their present and their future elevated at every step. The future account is always full and the present is always elevated. Do you play your part of service while being such karma yogis? You don't forget, do you? There are servers in Madhuban and so Madhuban automatically reminds you of the father. You have accumulated in the account of all treasures. Have you not? You have accumulated so much that you will always remain full. At the confluence age, your battery is always charged. The battery becomes weak from the copper age. At the confluence age, it is always full and always charged. So, you don't come to Madhuban to fill your battery but you come to celebrate. There is love between the father and the children and this is why to meet one another and to listen to him is the festivity of the confluence age. Acha, blessing. May you be a master almighty authority who with the awareness of being a master creates the stage of being manmanabhav. Let there always be this awareness in an emerged form. I am Karavanhar, one who gets things done through others. I am the master, a special soul, a master almighty authority. With this awareness of being a master, your mind, intellect, and sense scars will remain under your control. But the awareness, I am separate and a master. You will easily create the stage of manmanabhav. This practice of detachment will make you karmatit. Slogan, to tolerate or accommodate defamation or disturbance means to guarantee your kingdom. Om Shanti.